Hey guys, uh, this is Gradius here, and this is the video for translations. This is our first video for translations, particularly looking at graphs. Okay, so uh, this is uh, some new stuff here. So translating, uh, what we need to know is what translating actually means. So when we're talking about anything we're talking about in this particular unit, we're going to be talking about uh, manipulating or moving figures on a graph. Okay, so a translation, okay, translation or translating a figure means to shift it left or right or up or down. Okay, so it's just really a fancy way of saying we're just going to take a figure and we are going to move it. Okay, so here I have a coordinate plane. Okay, so I have my graph. And then here I have a, a square that's on that graph. Okay, so if I wanted to translate this figure, what I'm talking about is I'm talking about I'm actually going to be moving this figure either left and right or I'm going to slide it up and down. So we're just sliding the figure. Okay, so with translation, another maybe a key word we can uh, write here is slide. Okay, with the trans, if we're translating a figure, we are going to slide it. Okay, now a couple things that we need to know. We need to know two vocabulary terms that are very, very, very important. We have the pre image and the image. So the pre image, you guys, is the original figure. So the pre image is the original figure. So what I mean by that is if I'm looking at a coordinate plane and I want to translate something, okay, the pre-image is what I start with. So on this particular graph, here's my pre-image. And I'm, if I were asked to translate this, if I were asked to slide this over a couple units to the right or a couple units down, if I were asked to move this, this is considered my pre-image because this is what I started with. Okay. Now let's say I was asked to slide this figure to the right. So I slide it to the right. I just performed a translation. Okay. This resulting image right here, this resulting image is my image. So here's my pre-image, and then here's my image. What I did is I took my pre-image, and I slid it to the right, and what I ended up with is my new image. Okay? So pre-image is what we start with. The image is our final answer if we have to perform that translation. That is what we end up with. Okay? So we're going to take a look at some um, examples of what exactly we're talking about. So here I have a problem where it says plot the following points and then translate, move them. So here I have the points 1, 2. So 1, 2. I'm just going to plot my points here real quick. Negative 2, 1. And 3, negative 6. Okay, so here are my three points. Now what it's asking me to do is translate each point one unit to the right. So Right now, these three points, these are my pre-image. Okay? I could connect them to make a figure if I want, but right now I don't want to. Okay, so these are my, um, this is my pre-image right here. And by asking me to translate each point one unit to the right, because it says translate, that means I'm going to slide each, un each point one unit to the right. So what I'm doing is I'm taking each point and I'm moving it one point to the right. Okay, so this point, I'm just going to move it, slide it one over to the right. Right here, I'm just going to slide it one to the right. And then this one, one to the right. So these purple images would be my, after my translation, that would be my new, that would be my image. Okay, so the original points, these red points right here, those are known as the pre-image. Okay, and then the purple points, those are now my image. Okay. All right, we'll get another one. So now I've got four points I need to plot. I'm going to do these in red. Three, negative three, and then it's asking me to actually connect those points. Three, zero, and one, zero. So I have a rectangle, and it's saying connect the dots to make a rectangle. Good, so we have a rectangle, so that means we probably graphed, right? I know my line's not straight, but it's supposed to be. So here's my original, here's my pre-image right here. Okay, so I'm starting off, that's, my, that's, my, that's what I'm starting with. Okay, this is my original image, so here is my pre-image. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to ask, answer the question. It tells me to translate the figure two units to the right. So I want to translate all of this two to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each point and I'm going to move it two units to the right. So I'm going to take this point here and move it over to the right two. One, two. I'm going to take this point, move it to the right too. One, two. I need to take this point and also move it to the right too. One, two. It's now going to be here. 
take this point, move it to the right too. One, two. Here is my resulting image. It's a rectangle right next to it. Okay. So I just slid this, I took this rectangle and I slid it over two to the right. And here would be my image. Okay, so I'm taking the rectangle and just sliding it over to the right. Okay, so I have my pre-image and then now I have my image. Okay, now sometimes with translations, you might be asked to slide the figure uh, more than one translation. You might be asked to slide it up and down or left and right. Okay, so here I have a triangle here, and it's already given me the triangle, which is kind of nice. Okay, here's my x-axis, here's my y-axis. We should always label those. Sorry, I didn't do that originally. Okay, and so what we want to do is I want to translate this pre-image here. I want to translate it two units down and three units to the right. So I need to take each point, and I'm going to do it in a different color so we can see it. I need to take each point and move two down, three to the right. So I'm going to start with the top point of my triangle. I need to go two units down, one, two and then slide it three to the right. One, two, three. So this point became this point. Here's my pre-image, I'm creating my image. Take this point, down two, one, two, three to the right. One, two, three. And then finally I need to work on this point. One, two, one, two, three. And here is my new figure. And if pretending I can draw straight lines, it should look the exact same. What we did, is we just took this image right here, we took our pre-image, we slid it down and to the right, and here is our resulting image. Okay, down two, over three to the right. So that's all we're doing, guys. We're just, it's basically just counting, just counting. We're just taking that, whatever unit we have, we're counting it by how many times it tells us. Two units down, three to the right. And we're doing it for each point of that figure. Okay, so sometimes you're also going to see shapes that are already on the graph, and you got to see how was it translated. So how did I get from my pre-image, let's call this one the pre-image real quick, because it does matter which one we start with. So here's my pre-image. How did I get from my pre-image to my image? Okay, so how did I get from here to here? So there's two ways you can look at it, okay? I mean, but it's gonna, it doesn't matter. We can say we probably went up and to the right, or we went right and up, but at the end, it's gonna be the same exact thing, okay? So I basically want to pick a points on these two images. So I, I know the top left corner point right here would probably match this point. So how did I get from here to here? And it should be the same for all of them, so I really just need to check these one points. So to get from here to here, I had to probably go up one, two, oh, let's say I went right first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I went to the right twelve. So I'm gonna write that. Right. Oh, my pen's not working very well. 12. So I went right 12, and then from here I had to go up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Up 6. There's my translation from here, from my pre-image to my image. I had to go right 12, and I just counted. I matched up the points in the graph, so I knew the top left corner had to get to this top left corner. and went right 12, and then I had to go up six and that should be the same thing for the bottom left corner if i match these points this would be going right 12 up six same thing to get the top right corner right 12 up six so this would be my translation okay last one same exact thing so it might not be normal shapes you might have like a trapezoid or some funky funkier shapes and that's okay you're still trying to match the points to each other so if i wanted to ask how is this translated Again, actually, why don't you give this a shot on your own real quick. Just kind of count, and then go ahead and pause the video. Count, and then go ahead and unpause it, see if you did it right. So I'm trying to match up my points. So I want to see which points match up. These figures are the exact same. okay? And so if we look, this point right here matches up with this point, because that's the same on the image. okay? And I'm also trying to see, does this one match up with this? The bottom left should match up with the bottom left. okay? The bottom right should match up with the bottom right. And then the top right should match up with the top right. So I'm trying to move from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. So if I wanted to count, um, it doesn't matter which point I'm matching up. I'm just trying to match up the same point. So let's say I'm doing it with uh, my orange point right here. I have to go up. One, two, three, four. So that's up four. 
And then after I go up four, I'd go right one, two, three, four, five. Right five. And I'm done. That was the translation. Up four, right five. And again, this is not working. All right, so and again, we should have specified earlier, and we will make sure to specify for you guys. This is my pre-image. Here was my image. Okay, so this is what I'm starting with, and that was the yellow was the result. And again, you guys, these figures, they should be the exact same. You see how I can hide it right behind it? Because they are identical figures. They are um, congruent to one another. Okay, so that means when we slide it, the figure itself does not change. It is the exact same. All I'm doing is I'm just taking my pre-image, and I'm just moving it up and then to the right. So the figure stays the same size. Okay, guys, hope this video helped. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, and uh, good luck.